With this bottle decorated to its Swarovski Christmas. Well, this one for me more rich, more luxurious. The dining room area, my fragrance. Choose whatever you want, smell whatever you want. Hello. And welcome to our channel. Do you want to know a new fragrance brand that we get recently? Yeah. Let's get to know this brand better <laughs> <laughs> together. That will be almost our first impression. We smelled some of them, not all. We had this brand, I think, less than a week. Yeah, but before, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Okay, and this brand is Mikalev. M. M. Mikalev. Mikalev from France. Yeah. And today from we will grass. discover with you from capitals, from capital yes. of uh, perfumes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Let's start from the first. You can see a little bit different shape of the bottle from others. Yeah. It looks like it's more on a designer style. Yeah, but yeah. But um, definitely it's feminine. If they like, it's yeah. like drop. You know, water drop. Like. I think it's something like from Dior for me. I don't know why this. Uh, the fragrance called Ananda. Ananda. This brand famous for decorating bottles and exactly this bottle decorated with Swarovski crystals. Christus, yeah, Christus. Oh, beautiful, feminine, fresh. Floral and very, very fluid. Yeah, it's summer in the bottle. Mm -hmm. You know, it's light, fresh flowers, a little bit fruity, vanilla maybe, so like, it, but the, the same time it's still fresh and summerish. I get a bit of sweetness, a bit of vanilla here, mm. and it's vanilla with a little bit of a green mimosa on the background. But what I can say also, it's yes, it's perfect for summer, it's absolutely yes. A bit of pear here, pear yeah. juice. For me it's also like a little bit like, I would say like it's fresh out of the shower scent. Yeah, it has these vibes as well. Yeah, it's vibes more, it's like that clean. clean style, yeah. office style, absolutely yeah. inoffensive. Inoffensive. In the yeah, public, exactly. yes. Very like musky, but soft musky, musky and floral, mm -hmm. even though it's a little bit fruity in the beginning. It has a bit sweetness and a bit freshness and green part from Mimosa. It's not Mimosa that I personally like. Like Maybe not so that Mimosa like usually we see. Yeah, the... because we, we know the Mimosa is quite different. It's more on a... Like, recently I have a talk uh, with someone about Mimosa that I personally like. Oh, with Yota. Uh, mm. <laughs> she, she called a few days ago. I tried to explain her. Here in North America, we don't have that Mimosa. Mimosa more like this, more a bit more greener, herbal and greener. We in um, Eastern Europe uh, used to have mimosa from uh, Georgia, which is opulent, fluffy, sweet, absolutely different one. Maybe someday we will launch the fragrance with this, mm. but just for fun. I would say that fragrance, uh, yeah, we, we need to explain like, for, for who? For ladies, I told you in the beginning, like it's feminine, even like by design the bottle. So yeah, it's so more obvious. feminine style, as we said, office, uh, clean vibes, clean girl vibes, daytime, signature scent, absolutely perfect. Since it's fragrance from capital of the fragrances from France, it will be not something at all fragrances, not something very, very long staying, very, very overpowering, trailly. It's a mild sillage, mild, Longevity six hours or so. Really nice and beautiful fragrance. Let's go to the next one. Gin tonic. If you would like to look this fragrance, it will be G and tonic. Yeah. This fragrance smells on the way of Turin 21 for me. Because of the mint. Yeah, in the same time Turin 20, 20, 20, 21. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> but I don't know, you say 21 and I'm thinking about 22. I don't know why. No, 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 21. Yeah, 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 kind of. Yeah, it's a gin, tonic, mint here, definitely. But what I can feel more, even more than mint is a ginger. Ginger gives this zestiness here. Mm. For me, it's like cit citrusy, crispy notes with herbal undertone, you know? You know what is citrus here? What, what kind of citrus here? I don't know if I spell it right or no. It's a bigarite. It kind of looks like bergamot, mm -hmm. but yellow. Like this mm. ugly, ugly bergamot, but yellow. Okay. Never smelled it, never tried it, but uh, since that's something new that I see in in the notes, I was I was obliged to say it to you. 
-hmm. for those who want something exclusive. Fresh, clean, I would say yes, since it's gin tonic, more gentleman style. style. But I can see this fragrance on the, on the lady, especially when you're mixing, when you're layering. Yeah. When like you add me, a little bit of mask of vanilla here, pff, like if you want to energize your mood in the morning with perfume, <laughs> with gin and tonic, <laughs> yeah, like in with the every spritz, you know, <laughs> it's really nice. It's really it's uplifting, energizing, you know, joyful, really good. Yeah, it uh, reminds you about the vibrant summer days, absolutely casual daytime, like mm. when you wanna hang out, when you wanna play. Absolutely summerish, maybe office style, yes, but I would say it's more casual going out mm -hmm. or summer going out. Absolutely gorgeous fragrance. Next, next one. This one. Okay. This one. Yeah, we will start mask. Uh, dark bottle, and something should be here. So this one, this is toxic. Should be something magical here, even. Mm. You know what so I good. smell. So good. Oh, I like it. Cherry jam. Cherry also. Yeah, I can feel it. Yes. No, you know, cherry is not listed here. Yeah. It's even even like, no, it's not a cherry jam. It's a walnut jam. No, for me it's cherry. But cherry jam, yeah. Oh my God. I don't know what give this feeling, but like dark cherry jam. It's really complex and mysterious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you can feel the different layers. It's like spicy cardamom, cinnamon, what else? Something sweet, uh, probably it's vanilla or They listed, or actually they listed cannabis here. Oh, I don't feel cannabis. I don't feel it at all. And th that's supposed to give the scent, it's like kind of addictive vibes, mysterious, also, mysterious yeah. addictive, and also black, black current, but I don't feel... That's why maybe I feel the sweetness a little. Yeah, it's... Oh, it's so good, it's masculine for sure. Oh, really? Yes. Mm, I think that fragrance is f for someone who likes side effect. Yeah, I uh, like. I agree. Like it's style of vibe, vibe of side effect, uh, like sugar, strong, I, sexy, yeah, calm and detention, yeah. like Air, this. Maybe uh, or uh, mandoral. Mandoral, yes, from Sorodora, yes. That's but still for me it's masculine. Mm, I don't feel the sweetness. I think this perfume like. Really nice to like perfect to making statement. Yes, yes, yeah, true, because true. it's really, really like I don't know how to describe. I would not agree that this is this uh, masculine scent unisex for me. Absolutely for someone who are on the hunt. This is toxic. Lantans. Lantan. So it should be more intense, more probably more deep, dark. A little bit different like, notes. My, it, I think it's kind of like extra virgin, like exclusive something it smells know. different it smells yeah very totally different. different you don't have the sweetness it yes, become more green mm -hmm. i think mint here it's kind of amplified version of uh, uh, original dessert toxic this one for me more rich more luxurious and um, mask more masculine and this one for me more masculine, masculine. yes masculine mm -hmm. yes and this one for me on the style already of interlude, no, that, that, uh, that type of fragrances. For me personally, it's suitable for night, for statement, for like kind of, yes, you, you said it right, yeah. rich, rich occasion when you going out and you need to show that you are a powerful person. Yeah, the, this scent, the perfect who appreciate the strong, sophisticated scents. I think the difference between uh, classic Desert Toxic and Lantans really big. Really big. And really big. And a classic, and a, I would not suggest if you like one of these, hop on on the second one. They are so different. Which one do you prefer? I like more original one. I, 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 you know, I like more uh, mysterious scent. And that one for me, luxurious, but Strong not, mysterious. not mysterious unfortunately okay let's continue with uh, the feminine side why feminine because you can see you why. you choose like the no, I, I like just... i like one of them <laughs> <laughs> no i mean like i, I definitely buy, 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 buy i don't buy care cup the, this one also not vanilla 
Yeah, and the bubble also designed with the gold cup and the Swarovski crystals. I don't know, it means it's mean it means it's not vanille or in English or no, I think it's like the note vanilla of notes. Vanille. Like vanilla notes. Ah. Like if I'm right. I don't know. Hmm. This one I have uh I've, I've tried on um, yesterday and for me it's something like really subtle, cozy, comforting vanilla but today it opens up with much more boozy rum and something else like whiskey. For me it's a little bit like subtle notes, like subtle citrusy notes, I don't know which one I can feel and like deep vanilla notes and the, the, the like uh, the com the this, this complexity so it's for me it's like luxurious expensive scents for me it's more like a scent for for just to, to feel yourself comforted comforted and clean i don't get these vibes of the rich vanilla yeah like don't please don't be confused because it's not for the sweet tooth it's not the dessert not yes. sugary vanilla mm -hmm. not dessert not like gourmet vanilla one. not a gourmet so it's sophisticated floral vanilla light subtle but the vanilla for me is kind of deep here, but not gourmet vanilla. I can say I, I can feel vanilla, I can feel a little bit of maybe florals, mm -hmm. white florals. Mm, not my style. I don't feel here, unfortunately for me personally. Don't be offended. offended. I think it's style of like Trichère, Maisonzier, it's yes, also like yes, yes, fresh, yes, yes, clean yes, yes. vanilla. S same, same, uh, same vibes for me and uh, not my style at all. <laughs> I like something more interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, another fragrance will be Pure Extreme. Pure Extreme. Also Golden Cup. No Swarovski. What is it? Musk? Yeah. There's yeah. a lot of a lot of white musk. Silky, elegant. yes, elegant, rosy. Rosy. It have a floral, bit of yes. green. Feminine. Garden rose, I yeah. would say. Oh, it's beautiful. Mm. It's subtle, light, airy, little bit. Yes. Clean vibes, clean. very clean. That one is really nice, and I think that that's a really clean girl aesthetic fragrance before the sleep, fragrance for the office. Any occasions, you know, for me it's year-round fragrance. And with uh, today's trend, I can see this fragrance a lot on the guys. Actually, yes, it's musky. Yeah, it's musk. What's, musky floral, what's what, but... the beauty of the musk? It's at the sillage mm -hmm. around you. That's what guys looking for, for compliments. And then the, another thing that I smell here, I just uh, try to capture this white flower that I just hesitating, and it's gardenia. Gardenia. And it's not a green one, it's more like floral gardenia, like more clean a bit, a bit soapy like, but just, just, just. I, I, I think soapy it's maybe because rose so musk. Maybe rose, but not, like, you know, in in general, rose fragrances give me this lot of soap vibes, not like the here. Here, rose is like a la rose from Maison Francisco John. Mm. This type of a garden green rose. So for those who, f to, to my nose, for those who like a la rose, uh, Bouquet d'Henri and um, Chanel Chance, no? Yeah, Chanel Chance. Chanel Chance, Accento. That can be really, really nice fragrance. And we're moving to another one, very, very floral, but I don't know why I really like it. I uh, also like it. Ilang and Gold. Ilang and Gold, yeah. Even though I don't like Ilang Ilang too much mm -hmm. in the fragrances, mm -hmm. but, but that one, one is, wow. Oh. It's Intoxic Tech. Blah. I don't even like even I cannot spell it. Intoxicating. I don't like the initial sprays. It's it's every perfume with Elanka Lank, if Elanka Lank is prominent, because for me it's remind me the scent of the stuff for painting the walls. Paint? Paint, I don't know. And but dry down, I already tried on myself. Dry down, it will be beautiful coconut vanilla yes. scent. More it fade away. More lang lang become softer. Lang lang have um, this facet from the green, even acetonic, like in the beginning. That's why. That's why I feel lang acetonic lang vibe. But when it work with your skin, it become more creamy, creamy, soft, floral, creamy, and sandalwood and coconut milk or coconut. I just coconut. 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 Give this 
extra creaminess, sophistication. Yeah, it's like tropical paradise. It's tropical creaminess. Yeah, it's like so sunscreen deep. vibes, fluffy, and um, definitely feeling of the beach. Mm -hmm. Like this. Mm -hmm relaxing on the beach if you like nothing. Bora Bora Jardin de Toscana or even like Blanche Bet yeah. can be yeah. the same vibe because coconut tea but less sweet less less sweet yeah less sweet less much sweet. less sweet yeah and what else a special edition from uh, Pantone Roma less animalic less, you know, I mean like less kind of less jasmine yeah. and more yeah, less on this yes on on creamy yeah really really good fragrance I absolutely love it, even though you mentioned this uh, more on the feminine, no, I cannot, yeah. I cannot say it. So uh, that's, that's fragrance for the mood. And the fragrance for the mood, we all, doesn't matter, feminine, masculine, or uh, third gender, we all want to go on the beach and do nothing, uh, relax. <laughs> yeah, so it doesn't matter. No, but for example, I can wear pure extreme. Yes. I can wear not vanilla even, but yes. Ananda, no, it's for me, it's, it's really feminine. But it's, we, we're all different, so it's okay. It's okay to choose whatever you want. Choose whatever you want, smell whatever you want. Let's uh, rank it. What three that you would choose? I, I think I will take uh, Desire Toxic, mm -hmm. number one. With cannabis. Black Current, this, I don't know why, Cherry Gem vibes, Dark Cherry Gem vibes. Second? Second, I think I will take the musky one. It's like everyday scent in season, so it's really... Do you know the name? Pure Extreme. Mm -hmm. The Pure Extreme, yeah, and it's easy to wear, so I think it's uh, it's really a good choice. Mm -hmm. And the third one, I don't know, maybe not Vanille or Elan can Gold. I don't know, like... Yeah. You know, another thing, I not, va not Vanille gold. also somehow reminds me addictive vibration. From mm, Inicia. Kind of. But I think I Elank and Gold I will take. Hmm. So because it's creamy, tropical, I like it. If today will be a Christmas and I would ask You will take Desert Toxic. No, no if if it would be cinema, if no? it would be Christmas, I don't know why. I like I would say Elang and Gold. I like the gold. But if we will go to Halloween party, which will be soon, Desert Toxic. Original one. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Something Cannabis, maybe something alluring in this okay, fragrance. And what that... else? For which holiday? What holiday? Oh, we have a Labor Day. <laughs> and for Labor Day, I found out today that we will we we need to be day off on holiday. Today Labor Day? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. So uh, for Labor Day, I will drink a lot of gin tonic and do nothing. It's Labor Day. <laughs> gin tonic will be my fragrance. <laughs> what about you guys? Yeah, that's it. So the all the collection and uh, share with us your thoughts, your comments. What do you think about this brand? Or maybe you have something in your collection? Yeah, just let us brand know. have a lot of fragrances. They also send us two more uh, to try: yeah. Red Colorado and, and uh, uh, Feminine. Uh, all feminine. Feminine. All, all feminine. feminine. But nice uh, we will explore them some. Day later. Mm, orange blossom. Thank you okay. for watching. And stay tuned. See you in the next video. Ambiento. Bye bye.